All right, so uh, I've done a few videos like this already. This one is going to be about leather. Um, so we're starting off here in, I believe, the 1960s with this very interesting pocket placement here. This is also some medium mixing because some of those back panels look like suede. Uh, more medium mixing here. We've got some interesting buttons and I believe this is denim. Uh, some very creative pocket shapes. So this and the next photo I featured in my denim video um, because they are mostly denim pants but then there's a little bit of leather so more medium mixing so I thought that I would show them in this video as well. So this one is just a, a simple um, denim leather pair of bell bottoms um, with some side panels, pocket and belt details in leather. And then this one is a little bit more elaborate with some patchwork in the leather section. And this um, is part of kind of a, a trend in uh, jackets and um, even, I would say, coats, like coat length as well, were made in this style um, of sort of like a, a fish scale pattern with the leather, a... a patchwork fish scale um, because you can see how it's all layered there. Here is another example. This one is more toned down um, and interesting gaps between the buttons there. And we have one here that's kind of a similar style but um, it's just square instead of that sort of fi uh, fish scale type of design. This has some interesting pocket placement and um, it's an interesting belt as well, although I don't know if that was um, like sold as a set with the jacket. My guess would be I don't think so. Um, another similar jacket here, but more on the colorful side, and this is um, more of like a square and rectangle, like very geometric, um, with its own belt as well. So this is a very nice 1970s leather um, jacket. I'm gonna say jacket. It might be a coat. Um, and it's a very nice salmon kind of peachy color and you can see that the collar there is one of those really well-defined 70s dagger collars. Um, this, so some of these pictures, a lot of them, as I've said in previous videos, were originally from Etsy. So they were listings for clothing pieces that were for sale and this was one of them and it sold and I was really really bummed out about it because this looks really really cool so congrats to whoever bought it. Um, this is a very very nice uh, leather jacket from the 80s that combines two shades of leather together with also a bunch of fringe and then this one uh, medium mixing again because the whole thing is not leather, only some of it, and it's got almost like a, a western theme to it with more fringe as well. Um, this one is a little similar except it's not really as western, uh, but you do have the nice rose detail there. And then this one, this one's interesting because it has the fringe, um, but is also not in a jacket shape, it's in almost like a blazer shape. If you've ever seen blazers from the 80s with the, like, dolman sleeve and, and uh, shoulder pads, but it's leather, which is very interesting. And then this one um, looks almost like the shape of a formal vest but with sleeves added and also happens to be leather. That's really nice. This one is another that um, looks very like oversized 80s blazer shape, 
but it's leather and it's also got some really big statement buttons with some creative but button uh, placement. And then you've got a really nice black and red leather jacket with some interesting but dazzling and zipper placement. A lot of leather jackets from this era were definitely inspired by the ones uh, worn by Michael Jackson, but also some other celebrities. Um, we have another black and red number here with some interesting stitch lines. Um, and instead of capped sleeves, because there were a lot of jackets that had capped sleeves, this instead um, uses interesting shapes to draw attention to the shoulders. Um, and this one has capped sleeves. That's what capped sleeves are, is that it just fits over like a cap and sometimes it does or doesn't have a longer sleeve underneath. So this is an example of longer sleeves underneath a cap sleeve. And this looks very thriller inspired, but with less detail and it's just one color, this kind of bluish color. And then we have another blue leather jacket, but it's mixed in with this material that I can't tell if it's also leather, but it has that nice paisley design on it. And we have more medium mixing here, some red snakeskin leather on a interestingly shaped denim jacket. And this was not featured in my denim video because I found this photo after I collected the photos for that. So this is a leather skirt um, that is from the 80s, but the shape of the belt here very much gives off Edwardian inspired. We have a jacket uh, here with a lot of pleating at the sleeves, almost kind of a cap sleeve, um, but a little bit more of a softer version. And color blocking was a huge thing in the 80s, so we've got an excellent example of color blocking in leather jackets. And here's another great example of it with interesting zipper and button placement with more cap sleeves again. Um, and a zipper on one sleeve but not the other. Um, we've got a sort of teal leather jacket here with these pieces where the leather is gathered a little bit. Um, and then this sort of asymmetrical collar version with very wide dolman sleeves, probably shoulder pads as well. And we've got this lovely skirt here, more medium mixing. This is suede and leather, both in a very nice teal. I am going to be doing a suede video as well. And we have a matching set, teal again, from the 1980s that has that um, higher on the sides and lower in the front waistline with the pleats, something you'll see in a lot of 80s clothing. Um, and this sort of almost military jacket that is like a, a blush pink, has a lot of tassels, um, very interestingly shaped. Um, you've got this jacket here that doesn't have cap sleeves, but does have these little, um, not pleats, but similar to pleats at the shoulders to still draw attention to it. Um, and you've got this jacket that has some interesting buckle placement with some much more wide pockets than you would usually see. And you've got a really nice 80s leather skirt with this tie-up detail and all of this bedazzling going on. It looks really, really nice. 
although I don't know how comfortable it would be. <laughs> um, we have this really nice red leather dress, interesting zipper placement, and these, I believe, are slits that open up with more fabric underneath to make room for breasts. When you put the dress on, uh, probably shoulder pads in here, a dolman sleeve once again. Um, the skirt is a little bit tapered. And you've got medium mixing again, so suede with leather, some big statement buttons, um, some sort of quilt-like lines running along the leather section. And you've got some gold leather pants uh, with the belt included. Um, and seam lines across almost where the knees are, which looks like it's a stylistic choice. We got some red leather gloves with some uh, perforations, and then some bigger ones there. Uh, leather statement belt, big statement belts were really huge in the 80s. Um, and color blocking and accessories was also really big. Here's another example. Um, very creative. And uh, another belt example here that is this kind of follows almost like a chain link type of design. You've got this leather skirt here where these pocket openings, which I, I can't tell if it's a fake or a real pocket opening. It's, um, if I had to guess, it's probably fake and just decorative. You can see though, with this shape, it's almost Western inspired. Um, so this is an actual blazer, uh, might be a blazer coat by the length of it, that has some leather detail on the front, um, taking an interesting shape as well. Um, we've got some not exactly patchwork leather because it does follow the pattern um, pretty well. Um, like symmetrical, I mean, with this interesting design. I think this, I think this part is sunflowers. Um, you've got these interesting leather pants with this red section weaved through at the side seams. And then these leather pants that have pleats in them. These are still, this is still stuff from the 80s, I believe, so the pleats in the pants are um, very indicative of the decade. <laughs> um, and you have this skirt, which I think this is from the 90s, that has this square kind of look to it, which reminds me of the square patchwork denim items that I showed in my denim video. And then this is the last picture, um, more medium mixing, so we have the leather here and then this section, which I think might be suede, although I'm not entirely sure. Um, but that is all of the leather items that I had to show you. Um, and I really hope that you like the selection that I chose. Um, thank you for watching this, and I hope that you will return because I'm going to be doing a uh, suede video and a velvet video as well as probably more after that. Um, I know that there were less photos in this video than there were in the last few, and that is because these do boil down to my personal tastes and my knowledge on different trends. So because I'm not a fashion historian and this is just like an interest, my knowledge is limited. So 
for every category that I talk about, I might not have as many examples to show. So this video is an example where I had some cool stuff that I wanted to show, I just did not have as much to show as, for example, in my denim video. But, thank you for watching this, and I will see you next time.